Veggies with Wedgies by Todd H. Doodler Every morning, Farmer John hung his family's clothes to dry in the warm sunlight right above the vegetable garden. Usually, there were shirts and pants and some fluffy bath towels. One day, Farmer John was drying something different and that got the attention of some very curious vegetables. What are those? asked Pumpkin. I don't know, said Cucumber. They look comfy, said Beet. They look silly to me, said Mushroom. Maybe we should get some, said Asparagus. But we don't even know what they are, cried Onion. What is everyone talking about? asked Corn. Look, said Tomato, up there. We're trying to find out what those are, said Potato. Maybe they are socks, said Pete, for your feet. But socks don't have holes in them, said Broccoli. My socks do, said Asparagus. Maybe they are hats, said Mushroom. They don't look like hats, said Tomato. Why is everyone staring at Farmer John's underwear? asked Carrot. Underwear, said Beet. What's underwear? Does it come from the underwear fairy? asked Pete. No, said Pumpkin. You trick or treat for underwear. No, 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 said Carrot. Underwear is something that people wear under their clothes. Under where? Get it? The veggies thought about this for a while. We wear underwear, asked P. But we don't wear clothes, said Tomato. We have nothing to wear our underwear under. The veggies were sad for a moment. I don't see why we couldn't wear them anyway, said Carrot. The veggies perked up. But what are we going to where are we going to get underwear? asked Potato. Well, maybe we could borrow Farmer John, said Carrot, just to try them. The veggies agreed that that was an excellent idea. So they worked on getting them down. This took a bit of work. Finally, the veggies pulled down the underwear. They were very excited to try them on. Mushroom put the underwear on his head. That's not how you wear it, said a carrot. Beet put the underwear on his arm. That's not right either, said carrot. Corn put the underwear over his ears. That's not right at all, said Carrot. You put on underwear like this. He put on the underwear and proudly turned around. Then the veggies each hopped and, wrigg and wiggled their way into a pair. It took a little bit of hopping and a lot of wiggling. Soon, the veggies were all wearing underwear. Then, they were all very quiet. Potato spoke first. This is not comfortable, he cried. Not at all, said B. I want it off, well, Tomato. Something is not right, said Carrot. The veggies all had terrible wedgies. I know, said B. I think Tomato's underwear would fit me better. And Corn's underwear would fit me better, said Tomato. And Tomato's underwear would fit me better. Would fit me best, said Mushroom. And Beet's underwear would fit me best, said Potato. 
so all the veggies traded underwear. Then they hopped and, and wiggled their way into different pairs. Much better, said Potato. Perfect, said Beak, twirling around. Mine feels just right, said Corn. All better, said Broccoli. Oh, I could just do a dance, said Pete. And the veggies sang and danced to their new underwear song. Oh, underwear is so fine. I want to wear it all the time. Underwear is the best. Just find the pair that fits you better than the rest. From that day on, the veggies hopped and wiggled into their underwear whenever Farmer John wasn't watching. The veggies were very happy and mostly didn't have any more wedgies. And Farmer John is still looking for his underwear.